Today, we're going to be analyzing the Quebec Bridge Collapse Incident, which took place in 1907. The idea of the bridge was to transport goods to Quebec over the St. Lawrence River in order for the city to develop. The government of Canada appointed the Quebec Bridge Company to start working on the project. Then they hired Theodore Cooper to be the consultant engineer responsible for the project. Cooper started looking over the several design offered. After that, he settled on the Phoenix Bridge Company cantilever design. The Quebec Bridge Company has some financial limitations on the project, so Cooper had to do some changes on the design to meet their expectations and to speed up the project time. Since the Quebec Bridge Company couldn't afford any revisions on the new design and the Phoenix Bridge Company didn't want to pay them, so no testing was, was made. It was settled that Cooper experience is enough and doesn't need to be reviewed. Robert Douglas, an engineer who was working on the project, saw some errors in Cooper designs, but Cooper took offense and did not consider. In early August, Norman McClure, an inspecting engineer, and Cooper eyes on the site, began to notice some beams bending and wrote to Cooper about it. But Cooper did not take any serious action to stop or to review the faulty project designs. A week before the collapse, McClure found out some severe bendings in the beams while constructing, so he stopped the construction until he informs Cooper. After McClure left the New York City, the Quebec Bridge Company recommenced the work on the bridge. When Cooper was informed by McClure, he telegraphed the Phoenix Bridge Company to add no more load to the bridge until after due consideration of the facts. Cooper believed that the telegram would be forwarded to the Quebec Bridge Company, but it never happened, which led to the fatal incident. The bridge collapsed in construction, leading to 76 casualties. On August 29, 1907, the collapse happened. The band in Core 9L gave way, sending 70 million tons of steel and the men working on it into the St. Lawrence River. The blame was on Phoenixville and Quebec Bridge Companies and Theodore Cooper. The ethical issues here was basically the miscommunication between Cooper and the Quebec Bridge Company and also the Phoenix Bridge Company, which were the three parties of the project. They didn't account for the safety of their workers, leading to the violation of the profession misconduct, section 72.2b. Failing to act correctly in reporting the situation risked the public safety and violated section 72.2c. Regarding code of ethics, the duty for the public was another issue breaching section 77.1. Also, the lack of cooperation between the three parties led to the violation of 77.6 as well. Alternative approaches that could have been followed are at 1. At the very beginning, the Quebec Bridge Company could have hired other consulting engineering agency to review Cooper's modification on the design. Also, when Douglas informed Cooper about the faulty designs found, if Cooper does not take any action, he, uh, he can inform the, the Quebec Bridge Company and the government to stop the construction right away. Two. If Cooper didn't take any action, Douglas could inform the Quebec Bridge Company about the faulty design without informing the public. 3. Going on with the faulty designs and the Phoenix Bridge Company leading the meeting as scheduled. As for the analysis part, we analyzed the three options we have and we found out that option 2 will be still violating section 77.1 because the duty for the public was still breached. The public is not informed about the possible harm that can be caused from the faulty design. As well as option 3, which still violates 72.2b, as it failed to make any reasonable provision of the safeguarding of life. It also did not take into consideration the people that might be affected by the work completion. Based on our analysis, we decided that the best option to follow is the first path, as it is the most ethical approach to take. Now, to analyze the situation from a law point of view, the Quebec Bridge Company, the Phoenix Bridge Company, and the consultant engineer Theodore Cooper are to blame for this incident. They did not abide by the three key principles of law. They did not show duty of care to the plaintiffs, they breached their duty of care to the plaintiffs, and they caused injury to the plaintiffs, in this case, which are the workers and the citizens of the Quebec City. Thank you for listening and have a good day.